Hello, everyone. Nightbox here, welcoming you to another Tech Tuesday video. And in this video, we're going to be going over something that a lot of you guys have been asking me lately, and that is how to download PC Minecraft maps so you can play them on your own. Um, and that works perfectly for games such as this, uh, where we're actually given a custom map uh, with command blocks and it's custom game mode, something that you might not be able to create yourself. Um, but we're going to do this. I'm just going to use this as an example. I'm going to make the medium difficulty, and basically, we are going to do a round of ice skating. Uh, so while I'm doing this and stuff, just to guys give you a quick example of um, how to play this game. Uh, you move back and forth on this little uh, platform here trying to avoid the dark blue ice blocks. And the better you do, the faster the thing goes and until you get, well, you, you get the point, you die. <laughs> but we're not here to play the game, I'm here to show you how to download maps such as this so you guys can play it. So let's go ahead and dive in the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Let's go! Alright, so now that we are on the computer, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the internet and type in your favorite Minecraft map sharing sites. Um, a few that I like to use are, uh, let's do the first one here, which is www.minecraftmaps.com. And this is a site that I like to use for a lot of different PC maps. As you can see, it's separated by categories up here. Um, I'm just going to choose one. Let's do let's do a parkour. There we go. <laughs> and so here's a list of all the PC parkour maps that are out there available right now for download. I'm just going to scroll through some of these. Um, let's see. We got the wall. We got a build-off block, block killer. I tell you what. I saw one up towards the top. Here we go. The world's parkour. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, you can download the map. There's some information over on the right side of the screen, including uh, what Minecraft version it actually is compatible with. And we can see that it's up to date with the 1.9. So we're going to go ahead and download the map. You click on it, and it downloads it to um, a specified location. Now, usually it'll go to the downloads folder unless, of course, you have it somewhere else. Uh, just keep in mind where you are downloading the file to. Uh, so we do have this downloaded. It's ready to go. I'm going to take you to the other website that I like to use, which is www.planetminecraft.com. And this website's much like the other one. Uh, you can go down to the bottom here and where it says projects, click on projects, and you can sort out between the most popular, uh, what's hot, different types of different things here. You can see a list of all these amazing maps that people have made in the past um, and that are available for download right now. So what I'm going to do on this one, it's pretty much similar. I'm going to do this dropper right here. We all love a good dropper map. So once you do that, you just come down, see where it says Minecraft World Saved the Download. You click on it and this website takes you to, um, I guess their little advertisements, how they, I guess the website gets their money or whatnot. Um, but don't worry, as you can see up at the top right, it will, uh, you will allow us to skip it here. So there it is. We can skip the ad and it'll take us right to the media fire where again, we can download the map and and get ready to install it into our Minecraft folder so we can play it. So once that's done, it will again pop up a list here. As you can see, it is going to the exact same spot. And we've got two zipped files. Now keep in mind that when you actually put these files into the Minecraft folder, they do not need to be zipped. We have to extract them from the files itself that it's zipped. We have to extract them from the zip folder. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, one of these here and we are going to extract the file. We just do so by clicking that little thing up at the top. It, we can choose the location. I'm just gonna leave it at the same exact one. That way I'll know where to find it, um, but you're more than welcome to put it in a specified location. Uh, same with the other one. We'll just go to the extract button, click there and get rid of it. There we go. Now it's extracted as well, and we have the folder ready to open and view all the contents of it. So now we can get rid of the zip folders. We don't need them anymore. And we're going to go ahead and copy these folders. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you exactly where you need to put it. So the Minecraft folder that is used to um, save all of your saves and where Minecraft goes to look for all the worlds is actually housed in your C drive. And you got to go under C. 
and then users, and then your username, um, and then the app data folder, which is right here. Now keep in mind if you don't have that, uh, chances are it's actually hidden. Um, and with anything Windows 8 and above, you should be able to just go to the view section and check the hidden items button. As you can see here, once I uncheck it, it's not there anymore. So I'll just check it and it comes right back. We can click on app data. And then at then we do roaming and then we do dot Minecraft and then saves. And so once we click inside the saves, this is where all of our folders or all of our maps are. We can just right click and paste them in there. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and hop on Minecraft and see if they've made it. Oh, and yep, there's one. And let's see, where's the other one? Hmm, there it is. Okay, the dropper. So let's go ahead and play the dropper. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we can get into it. And uh, looks like we can. Everything's working fine. Welcome to the dropper. That's exactly what I want to see. Um, let's see. I think we just pressed that. There we go. We'll go through the map a little bit. I want to check this out. I want to make sure this is a really cool map to play on. I might actually play this map uh, after we get through with this because I've always wanted to do one of the dropper maps. Let's see. So we pull the lever and nothing happened. Press the button. There we go. Okay. So let's see if we can fall down right here. There we go. Whee! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Well, yep, yeah, that's what happens. You died. <laughs> I didn't say I was good at this map, but it was a lot of fun. But on a different note, if for some reason you did download everything and it's still not showing up in the world list here, chances are something messed up. And so one thing that probably most of you are going to be having the issues with is when you move the folder over, if you click inside the folder, you'll see some extra subfolders that really shouldn't be there. So you have to click inside the subfolders to get all the information out. It should look something like that with the dot level and all that kind of stuff. All we have to do is copy it and paste it into the subfolder right here uh, and then get rid of these two because we don't need them anymore. And so now when you go into the dropper uh, folder, you'll instantly go there and not have to go through any extra ones. And the same thing for the other one, you see there's this extra subfolder here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Let's take out all of its contents, cut it and paste it right back in there and then we can get rid of that folder. And so now we can go back to the Minecraft and we'll just cancel, go back into single player and there they are. See, there's the seven worlds parkour. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's make sure it works and it does there we go seven worlds parkour so that's pretty much all there is to it hopefully you'll be able to take this video and uh, get the help that you need if you have any comments questions or concerns you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below and i'll try to do my best to answer them in a timely fashion um, also if you have any future suggestions for some tech tuesday videos please feel free to let me know as well. Uh, you can use the hashtag ITFox on Twitter or leave a comment down below. But that's going to be it for me this time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay foxy, everybody. And we will see you all later. Bye, guys.